So as um, Stefan's been talking about, we have partnered up with FOG. We've been in partnership with them for a long time because they've been our VLE. But we wanted to design a training platform that met the needs of our trust. Um, so that was the reason that we chose to sign up with them. So a little bit about ourselves as a trust. So I work for River Tees Multi Academy Trust. Um, that's our strap line. We, we change lives. And I truly, truly believe that we do change the lives of our learners that we work with. Um, we are an alternative provision trust. So that means that many of our learners have either been excluded from school or are at risk of being excluded from school or are in a home and hospital teaching provision. So the work that we do is very unique. It's almost a bit of a unique market. So we have a primary academy in Middlesbrough. We have a Middlesbrough Academy in Middlesbrough. We have a high academy in Middlesbrough and we have the home and hospital teaching in Middlesbrough. Um, that sounds wonderful. If you ever visit us, we are almost one site, um, but Ofsted view us as three separate schools. So I won't refer to three Ofsteds in 14 working days as senior leadership. It was very intense, very tough, uh, tough but also a really rewarding experience. We also have an academy in Gateshead, our River Tyne Academy, and that's for Key Stage 3 and 4. And we're really grateful to be opening a free school in Redcar and Cleveland next year. So again, that just gives a different variety to the things that we do. So what we wanted to achieve, um, as I've just alluded to, because we are a multi-academy trust that is alternative provision, quite often a lot of the training packages are very mainstream. And whilst we have mainstream expectations and we really want our staff to strive for all of those, we also need some unique areas. For example, when you're doing the early career training framework um, and you do the behaviour section for, a, for an NQT and an early career teacher, that's very much uh, low level, you know, getting the expectations right, getting the um, meetings right at the door. And those are all vital and I'm not disrespecting them at all, but for a, a setting like ours, that has to be bread and butter practice. And actually, we might need something a little bit different for our ECTs when they're looking at behaviour. When we're planning for a group you, uh, in a mainstream setting, you're very much planning for 30 learners and moving things on the way that you need to. Our learning is very much bespoke to individuals. How do we do that for each individual learner? There are 10 learners in a class, so we need a pedagogy that looks a little bit different. So it was really important that we could build a professional learning area for our staff that met the needs of our trust in our academies. We wanted also to empower staff in roles to create purposeful professional learning for their peers. So we have some real key players within our setting, you know, safeguarding being one of them, attendance, our PDLs. And we have roles such as a PDL, a personal development lead, that other schools don't utilise. So actually new staff coming into our school need to understand what that role is. If they've got um, aspirations to be in that role, they need to understand what training they uh, need to access and what that role would look like. So we wanted to empower the staff that we work with to say, do you know what? You can build a FOG course that explains your role or that we can tailor to your role so that those with those career aspirations are able to, to move in that direction. Um, and through that, we wanted to provide opportunities for staff to train for progressive other roles within the trust. So if, if you were a TA with an aspiration of being a PDL, actually we could set that training up so that at a point of coming to an interview or applying for a role you've got the ability to have said well actually i've accessed some of the training for that role within the fog courses and this is my learning and um, i think we can all say that we've been for interviews for positions that we've not yet been able to experience and it's really difficult to draw on the learning that you will do in that role when you haven't yet experienced it so what we hoped through for courses is we could build a platform where people could almost try before they buy, get some learning in that area. We also felt that we had a really strong induction programme 
um, we, we went through all the different aspects. So for example, my aspect was teaching and learning. You know, I would sit and spend time with them, showing them how to get on our pixel area. I would sit and spend time with them, showing them how to get onto our frog area and how to access that. When we took a, a step back and we looked at what frog courses could achieve for us, actually, a lot of that was administration. It was like how to's, this is where you access it. This is what you need to click on. And actually, if we built a course for that, then the induction time with the person who leads could become flipped of actually what we can do is support you in the aspects that you found difficult rather than teach you how to access those. So we felt that it would give a real key flavour to our induction where they can do the learning and then the time with the person who was inducting them in that area would become real quality time where they could come with key questions, key learning, and we could really unpick that and support them with it. And the other real big positive for us that I will go on to talk about in the um, conferency part was we now had a central area for our professional reflection and development model. So for everybody else, that's our appraisal system. We've taken time. We've really looked at how we wanted to develop that and how we wanted to change the model and we've worked with FROG that that is now built into FROG courses and it's a real positive area. So I'll touch on it with you today, but we'll also talk further about it later. So again, we approached FROG. It was a conversation with them. At that point, they were working with external companies, not educators. And we were like, do you know what? We really want to buy into this. This is something really positive for our staff and something that we can build that is bespoke to the learning that they need from us. So the benefit of working with FROG is anyone working in our industry knows that we have thousands and thousands of platforms, you know, exam bodies, um, management systems, all needing different usernames and different passwords. And actually we had FROG already and frog courses give us the ability to use the same username and password. So whilst that seems something really simple on the ground, it's really time effective. Also, our staff were already using the, the frog really. So they were really familiar with the accessibility, which widgets they could use, how to do that. And because the course used the same structure as the VLE, they were already quite competent with the widgets, the page layouts, the features, which makes building a course really accessible for everyone. There's a few new tweaks to learn, but that takes about five minutes and then you are aware and you can build courses in whichever way, shape or form that you want. I heard Stefan touch on this earlier. We can add the policies to the course, which is a real positive feature and it identifies when they've been read so such as the um, Keeping Children Safe in Education course, we can attach our school safeguarding policy to that training and ensure it's been read. We can also attach the, the Kitsy document to that and ensure it's been read. So it gives us a real secure way of tracking that those policies have been read and understood. And it, it sounds really simple, but actually, putting the policy onto FROG courses with an expectation that it's read and the tick box to say that it's been done and building it as a course with a few key questions allows you to ensure it has been read and understood. And we found that you can put activities towards the end where staff can identify if they need further support or further training and it notifies key people. So it really becomes an area where you're assessing learning of policies and procedures within your school, rather than just read the policy, tick, you've done it. Um, the other positive is the course builders allow people to remember where they're up to. And we all know what it's like. You start a course with good intention, you sit down, you know you've got a clear hour in your diary, you get part way through and distractions start to happen and you have to leave for whatever reason well, the four courses allows you to remember where you were up to. So you, when you go back to the course, you start from that remembered point. The courses can be set as mandatory. So I can say that this is an expectation that we expect our staff to complete this. 
or as Stefan said earlier, it can be just left so that they can optionally go into that so they can have a browse through, think for those in education, I've got a spare half hour, we all know what that looks like, I'm going to access this course. The positive about the mandatory is it can be set with deadline dates and those reminders are sent out automatically. So I don't need to think as the lead, I must remember to send out a reminder email because everyone needs to do that training. And then the real positive is it feels corporate. We are a trust and we are a learning environment, but we can personalise all the content and all the graphics to our trust. As you'll have seen from that front page there, that is Rivertee's branding. So the, the front page really looks and feels like our trust. So we achieved this by working with Frog. We've built in a catalogue, as you can see from that screen there. We have chosen the areas within our own catalogue. They're not set. We have set those out. So learn about our team at our governance area so that our, our trustees and our governors can all access that area and look and do the training that we want specifically for our trust. A leadership area. So those wanting to enter leadership, we all do the MPQs and they're great courses, but actually we can build something that's quite bespoke in alternative provision. It's quite unusual that there isn't all that national data for us to analyse and compare against. So what is it that we want our staff to learn and understand and set those benchmarks of measures for? And again, when you implement something new, you know, we do give those training sessions to staff, but we all know that people walk away and think, oh, can I just remember how to? What did that look like? And actually, we can build a course. We've built some courses on how to use for courses, ironically. But that allows staff in their own time to go, I'll just go back and review my learning. I'm not quite sure how to do X. I'll just go back and have a look instead of that continual stream of emails of, can you just show me again? Can I just have another five minutes? So it's really positive learning place that staff can refer back to whenever they need to. We also built in there a frequently asked questions area because we understand that people go on site and it doesn't always work the way they want it to. So we felt it really key that they could get help and support quickly by accessing that area. An email will quickly get sent to the relevant people and we can act on it and deal with it and put it right quickly and effectively. There's no waiting for external agencies. The other part that we did, and I, I touched on it earlier, is built our appraisal area into there. So I bracketed it appraisal, but actually we now call that our professional development and reflection area. And it's really, really key. So this is an area now within FROG courses. We felt it was important to keep this area in FROG courses because as we've alluded to in our title, it's about reflection and development. What are you going to do to broaden your horizons and to, to develop your knowledge base? So we felt it was really key that this was built into the courses area and that everything was together. So as we've said, we've built this in. So we've got appraisal guidance really quickly here. Teachers, TAs, <coughs> sorry, PDLs all have access to the, the learning needs that they have. We can put our policies in here. We've got government policies in there. It's a quick and easy way to access the documentation that they need. We have built in a, a resources area. So any CPD that we do deliver, any PowerPoints, any learning, any reading can quickly be dropped into an area that all staff can access really simply. Our entire lesson observation area is built into here. So what we will say is we have stepped away from lesson observations. So you'll see now it's very structured. Um, we do still see the value for ECT. So they still get those lesson observations. And that's why we built this into this area. So we built it so it's very structured. And when you access the documents, they're not only for the observee, but the observer, and they're both reflecting on their practices. And that comes through as a form, so we can really quickly look and get the information that we need from all of those aspects. 
We've also built in the CPD area. Um, so this is a, a site that's totally private to the individual and the user, but that CPD area can be accessed by any member of staff and it, it gives them a wealth of areas to record their CPD. So for example, I've put some of them up here. They can evaluate any professional development that they've been on and put that form in. So we've got a continual monitoring and being able to look and see what the impact has. They've got an area to request professional development. And that is really effective because we've gone down all the lines. I've been quite ruthless in how rigorous that aspect is. But we've talked about who will need cover, how they transport there, what so we can totally budget for that CPD. And then that request will go to their line manager initially and be signed off. And if the line manager is in agreement, they can attend that training. It then goes through to our business lead. But that is all set up as an automatic chain of emails. They can also see their requests that they've put in for their personal development. We felt it's really important as well that the staff are able to celebrate the CPD that they lead and that they disseminate. So that's built in because we all know what happens is you get to that appraisal at the, the October point and you're ruthlessly going through your diary going, what are all the things that I've done through the school year that I want to share? Really key is we encourage our staff to do a lot of professional reading. But again, that gets lost in the system. So we wanted somewhere where we could capture that. Um, the CPD attended and we've moved very much to a coaching model and I don't want to monitor staff on that. I don't want to know the ins and outs, but what I do want to know is that they're attending those coaching sessions. So we've been able to build in an area that is just a quick log that says the date, whether they accessed a coaching session and what the impact was. I don't need the details. I don't want to monitor the staff. And then finally, that you know, we do go on courses that are external and they do give certificates, but we wanted somewhere where that can all be held central so they can upload those to the external certificates. And we've got a real central area of where everything is and what that looks like. The other key part of our professional development area is that we're not monitoring learning, we're not doing lesson observations, but we want staff to become really reflective in their practice. So we've built an area where they can upload their own recordings of lesson observations, as in their lesson, so that they can work with their coach, they can work with mentors if they're um, early career teachers, and they can unpick that learning. Or ultimately, if they're teachers well in their career and they just want to take a step back, because we find that when you're in the moment teaching, you see all the things that happen, you react to the lesson, you don't almost unpick because you haven't got that ability and that time space to do. So we felt it was really important that teachers could take ownership, record their lessons where they wanted to and upload these into the appraisal area. So there's a central area that's captured and this is private to that individual. You know, it's SLT aren't going in and monitoring this. This is about their learning, their capturing of their progress and their development and where they want that to go. And then we built our appraisal area. So as I said, it's slowly feeding through here. We completely changed that. So our appraisal now is based on two key aspects. It's based on some self-reflection of where they want to be, and that's going to be their coaching session and uh, an inquiry question, which is, is using their knowledge of our children and their data and a question that they think will impact on um, outcomes. And they analyse that and they look at that. And actually what we've been able to build here is real purposeful forms that are bespoke to the needs of our staff and our school. And that has been a real honour of working with FROG that they have built what we need as we need it. It hasn't been an external company that's gone, these are our frameworks and you almost do that, we'll fit to your framework. Actually, FROG have been really supportive in developing things where they fit to our framework. And I will be honest, there's still areas that we want to develop and there's still things that you learn about as you're going through the, the, um, the process. 
But what I will say about Frog is they've been so supportive in when we found a barrier, we work together and we overcome that and we, we work with each other and we've built something that is very bespoke and very real to our school. So did we achieve what we wanted? Absolutely. We now have a great professional learning for our, our trust. Our staff in every role can build that learning for their peers. We've got those opportunities for staff to train for progressive roles. We've got now the ability to deliver the flipped learning induction program to make it really bespoke to that new member of staff. And we have a brilliant area for our professional reflection and development model with everything in one place. Staff have one login that is about them. And it was really key that when we shared this, a member of our teaching staff at River Tyne actually came to see me and said, do you know what, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I want to write down what I feel about this because I feel that the Frog courses is exciting and empowering. I've been given some autonomy over my professional development. All too often, whole school CPD is uninspiring, repetitive and has no impact on actual development. But this member of staff, felt fortunate to work for such a progressive organisation and can't wait to get started with FROG courses because what they're seeing is I can go and choose what learning I want to develop my practice and where I've got learning I can share that with others and help develop their practice. So a big thank you from me for listening and um, like we said working for River Tees Multi Academy Trust. <laughs>